to my YouTube channel. My name is Yesenia and today I'm going to be doing a nursery tour of my baby girl's nursery. I think I decorated it beautifully and it's like kind of simple and not too much. And honestly it was kind of perfect because she didn't spend a whole lot of time in this nursery anyway and as you know we're moving soon. But I wanted to do a nursery tour before we move out because I kind of just loved how simple and cute this nursery was. If I'm being honest, she didn't spend a whole lot of time in here, but I love the way I decorated it and I really wanted to show you guys what I did. It's really simple, but I think it's really cute. And I think I might use some of the same style when I do move into the new house. So if you're interested, just keep watching to see what I did. So this is the bedroom door and we're not going to look over there because it's messy. But if you follow me on to this section, this is the first um, section that pops and catches your eye and I'm going to go over it with everything I got. This is the first section and honestly I kind of love this little space over here because I just think it's so girly, it's so cute, but at the same time it's simple so it's not overwhelming. This dresser, if you've seen any other YouTube nursery tours, I know you've seen this one because that's where I got the inspiration from. This is actually from Ikea and I think it was like $200 around there I think, but I love it and what I really like about it is it has the four smaller drawers so I feel like with baby stuff, since it is so small, it's easy to get like this organized. So I have some drawer organizers in there and I feel like the small drawers just make it easy to see the baby things. And then the bigger stuff um, goes in the bigger drawers, obviously. So her clothes, towels, and things like that. Her decorations, starting off on this side, this was actually supposed to be hung up on the wall I'm going to show you soon. but. I never got around to it <laughs> and so it kind of just became decoration of this little section. Oh, let me start off by saying that the theme I wanted to go with was kind of like the woodland slash like a boho theme but at the same time I wanted a pink accents. That's why you're going to see a lot of white and pink. Those are the two colors I really wanted to mix them together and I think I really captured it throughout the room and I love it. So yes, I got this. I think it was at Hobby Lobby. And um, again, I got it because it has a pink accent, the animal. I thought it was like a perfect and super cute. And then this big old mare, I got it from Target. And I got the garland from Hobby Lobby. And I got this idea from Pinterest because I have seen a lot of nurseries have like leaves on it and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let me see what I can find. And when I found the greenery with like the roses, and um, it was such like a light pink. I thought it went perfect, so I was like, I gotta buy it. And then I totally DIY'd it, and it's hung up with tape. <laughs> I really do love it. I feel like it adds such a girly touch, and it's so beautiful. Next on the counter space is this little teddy bear. And um, I think it was like a gift from my mom, so technically it's like her first little teddy bear, which is so cute. And oh yeah, it actually says it here. Yeah, it actually says it there. So her first little teddy bear, um, thanks to her grandma, my mama. <laughs> uh, and then here I actually have a gift that one of my mom's friends uh, gifted to us. So it's like a little angel and then it changes colors, I think, if you tap on it or something. I thought it was like cute there and I didn't really have any other place to put it for now. So that's kind of where it went. Moving on to this side. Um, I did buy these little shelves off of Amazon and then of course I wanted to go with like the woodland theme So I got some little animals. I got this little cute fox from Hobby Lobby And then my friend is actually in Poland right now So she got this handmade horse from there and I thought it was so cute and adorable and I love things that are from like different places so That's kind of why I put it there and I, I just thought it's so cool and cute. So um, it went with the theme of my nursery. Uh, the top shelf, not gonna lie, it's a little random. I didn't find any specific decorations for it. So I kind of just put like a little plant I found and then my grandma gave my baby this little toy that sings. And so I was like, oh, I'll just put it there for now. And it's been there ever since. So <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon. Um, so that became part of the decoration. Over here we have the Welcome Aurelia, which is my baby's name. And that was the same little billboard sign that we used for our announcement pictures. And then these little boots, <laughs> my grandma gave it to me, but she hasn't worn them and I keep putting it on top of the dresser so that I can remember to put it on her before she outgrows them, which is gonna be really soon. But the weather is now starting to finally warm up 
and I know she doesn't need shoes so it'd be kind of like a picture thing so I'm just trying to get it done but yes overall I really do like this little section I think it's cute I think it's simple and I think it's just perfect for a nursery it's not too much it's not too little I think it's just like the perfect amount of simplicity if we move just a little bit to the left you're gonna see I have this yoga ball <laughs> and I actually bought this when I was pregnant but the reason I keep it in this room is because sometimes I do try to rock her to sleep and then standing up can hurt my back quite a lot because she's a baby she's heavy so I kind of just like sit there and rock her and then put her to sleep so that's why I keep it in this room and yeah I just use it kind of often so I just keep it in the room and we finally get to the first wall stencil and I have three trees around the room that I'm going to show you with little cute animals and I really really love how it looks it looks like it's been hand painted when my brother came to visit he actually asked if it was <laughs> like if I could paint that well um, but yeah I got it off of Etsy I'm going to link where I got it below I think it's super cute it was like really easy to put on and it definitely makes the woodland theme come to life so the lighting is a little off here just because I do want to show you the curtains but I got the curtains off of Amazon and they're not completely blackout curtains but they kind of do the job I did get this little light pink tone which matches with the accents that I want in this bedroom and how I did it is the front is the blackout curtains and then behind it is a sheer layer that I got from Ikea and I really wanted it because when I have the windows open I do want some type of privacy not just where neighbors can see right into my room so that's why I got the sheer curtains and then I layered it with the pink ones where if I want to block out some light or want to be really dark when it starts getting nighttime I just put it and it works perfectly moving on to this little corner um, the reason it is so empty is because originally my idea was to have the nursing chair right here and um, that's kind of why the crib is off center which I'll show you now but ultimately I kind of just put the nursing chair in my bedroom because that's where her bassinet is right now and that's where she sleeps so it just made sense to have everything kind of like together so yes that is why there's an empty space there um, the origin idea was to have the nursing chair there and then finally moving into the little crib area um, Like I just mentioned that the crib is a little bit off-center because of the whole nursing chair situation but um, We did center the crib with the artwork and so we put two little trees a little raccoon <laughs> um, With the little birdies. I just really like how everything kind of like tied in together so that's why I got the pink bedding and it's just perfect because it does have the woodland nursery theme as well so I got one with little foxes the bed sheets have little deers on them the bed skirt is pink and then I wanted the neutral color as well which is why I paired it with white the crib I got it off of bye bye baby and it's one of those transformable cribs you do have to pay for like the pieces when you want to transform it into a toddler bed and stuff but I mean for now it's doing the job she does take her daytime naps sometimes in here and um, since she's been getting bigger uh, it's actually been a perfect fit something you can't see is this little mobile and the reason is because I kind of move it from bedroom to bedroom and I kind of lost a piece <laughs> but usually it would go here and again pink little animals it just goes with everything so well and then to finish off the corner of this side we have a little mare it doesn't really belong there <laughs> it was just like an extra mare that I bought one time and I didn't know where to put it so again I just kind of like stuck it in here and it's been in here ever since but it kind of works out because when I walk in I'll just check myself out real quick and then I keep on going with my day okay so up next would be the closet but I'm gonna warn you right now the closet is not organized at all um, I mean, there's like a little bit of organization, but let's be honest, it's a baby room. She doesn't have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. We're moving soon. <laughs> so it kind of became like a storage. Um, so she has a some of her clothes in there, some storage stuff. Just be aware, it's not the prettiest closet, but it's a realistic closet, I think so. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so... On the rack, I have her like going out clothes, which we don't go out, so I kind of just pick clothes to take pictures with, and that's <laughs> where I get it from. Um, basically, her nice clothes. 
And then I did buy this little organizer off of Amazon, which I think it's gonna be great, especially when we move and I start to actually organize her bedroom. I can use it uh, when she starts getting more stuff. Right now, I kind of just have a lot of the free samples I got from this free samples video. I have a lot of her memories and keepsakes. So that's that. Um, like I said, I have luggage bags here because I have nowhere else to put it. But in one of the bags, I do have all her big clothes that she doesn't fit into yet because my grandparents gave me a whole lot of clothes till she's like a year old. <laughs> so what doesn't fit her right now? I just keep it in here to like kind of save space and it's not cluttering the actual bedroom area. And then on this side, it's just a lot of her stuff. Like she has more memory stuff, a shower bin that I don't really use and all that. So again, just like storage area. It's a closet. That's what it's for, right? So yeah. All right, well, let's close that mess up and just go to this wall. It's very plain, very simple. The little elephant picture frame was supposed to go here, but I never got the chance to hang it. Um, I did put a little bear here, again, part of the little um, stencils that I received from Etsy. A little bee, and then this little fox that I got on Amazon when I first found out I was pregnant. <laughs> it was like one of the first purchases I bought, knowing that I wanted to put it into her bedroom. This was even before I knew I wanted a theme for the nursery and all that, so I think it's pretty cool that it ended up being a little box and it just went with the theme so i started planning before i even knew and to finish the nursery theme i bring in my very own animal my kitty cat <laughs> so guys that is it this is her nursery tour uh it's not the most extravagant but i think it's simple it's elegant it's cute i really do like the accents that i put with the white and the pink the animals the little like boho i guess a section over here i like how everything's hiding together if you don't know, I am moving soon, so I'm gonna have to set up like a whole new nursery, but I don't know how I wanna do that yet, so I guess stay tuned for nursery tour number two. But this is what I have for now. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this nursery tour. Let me know if you liked the room down below, if there's anything that you liked in specific. My favorite thing, I think, are the stencils. It just really brings the room together. It's so beautiful, I think so. And that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.